fate of the Empress, and I'm running out of water and voice. So we're gonna try to make this quick. This is all about totems, totems for pets. What is a totem? It's basically like a toy for your pet or a treasure for your pet. It's almost 100% pure stats and a skill. So that's what you're really looking for when you're looking at your totems. So go to your pet and I definitely want uh, Mr. Chinchilla to have the healing totem that I showed you in the first video. So I'm gonna look for that. Healing effect increase three. And let's make sure that I don't have a better one that has just showed up that I didn't realize I had. Cause that could happen. Cause I get a lot of totems. Damage buff decrease, crit damage. Healing effect increase one. Okay, so this is getting down into the lower levels. Resist decrease. Okay, I think this one is the best one for Mr. Zhuangzhou. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna put its seals on. So seals work according to the type SHL. Let's see if I can just look at them. So S is a solemn seal. Um, and there's different qualities. So red is fabled, of course, epic, purple, and uh, blue, all the way down to blue. So these have certain stats on them. Please look at the stats. Also, totems have stats on them. Please look at the stats. Basic attributes. Those are the stats. So this one has 9,500 health, attack, defense, crit, and resist. So I don't really care about the attack or the crit for this um, totem because I have him the, it equipped to a uh, chinchilla that's on Zhuangzhou. Like, it's all about the healing. So those are basically empty might for me. But I do care very much about giving more HP, more resist, more defense, more EVA, and more damage resist if at all possible, to any of my support characters. So when you are picking a totem, don't just look at the skill, look also at the basic attributes because those will also be very important um, deciding factors. And if we look at this de defense increase, does it have, it has slightly better HP, but it also does not have that skill that I really want of healing for Zhuangzhou. This might be a good option for um, for Zhao Chan or possibly Jia Baoyu. I will take a look at that in a minute. Um, so I wanna change it back to the healing one. Doo, doo, doo. Here it is. All right, so I've already improved this to four by upgrading it with this Cassia branch and eventually these snow petal flowers. So I've upgraded it to four, and then when you upgrade to certain levels, just like upgrading your character and then awakening them, <laughs> you use, I mean, this is just that same basic principle of system. You upgrade the totem and then you awaken it when it reaches a certain level to get bonus stats. So this, if I upgrade it to five, and then awaken it again, I will get bonus stats of that, that nature. Adding seals, so the basic stats is what you get when you put the totem on. That's what's applied. Then when you improve it and you unlock the totem skill, that's the extra. So skill doesn't even matter if you can't unlock the um, totem using the correct seals. So I'm going to look at these seals. EVA, oh, those are really good. Um, you want to look at not just the quality of the seal, but the type of ability it's going to boost for you. Defense, defense, attack. I'm going to say that if I can keep him from being locked up in, uh, with a dock, it's probably a good thing. So the next one is this hefty seal, which gives different kinds of stats. 
and it gives more stats, of course, depending on the quality. So this one here gives some extra defense. There's resist attack defense on this, this, this fabled one. And extra HP defense, crit damage resist, and damage resist. That would be really fantastic, actually, for Zhongzhou. So I'm going to go for that. And then looking at the luminary skill, it's mostly attack with some HP on this one um, over here. But I'm going to say let's save some of that for maybe another totem. So for now, I'm going to stick this little 980 HP luminary one on and call that good. And now it's unlocked the skill and the skill will be active and then it gets upgraded after totem power is active and you get totem upgrade to plus 10. And it, as you can see, I don't have all that much Cassia branch. So getting it up to and plus these... Uh, Snow petals are pretty rare, so getting it up to 10 seems like a very momentous task, but I got it up to 4, and I feel like that's it's an improvement. It's, it's helpful. Alright, so the next totem I want to equip is for my doggy, and this is... I want to increase the damage my doggy does, so I'm going to go with this damage in, increase 3, and I will just double check and make sure... That I'm not missing anything better. Crit increase is good, but I think I'm going to save that for Levi. Uh, doo -doo. Any that I have not. See, this is really tempting to this EVA increase. Oops, I did not mean to do that. So touchy, I can't touch anything to show you anything. All right, so then I'm going to unlock it and what I really care about for my own character, because I have a lot of HP, much more than my heroes, I'm going to really care about attack and a little defense. <laughs> S is, again, the same situation. So I'm going to care a little, little bit more about attack than defense here. And then the Garnet Gloss Seal. It's a damage buff, crit crit plus and damage buff. I mean, those are really good stats to have, and I think I'm taking them for my MC. So uh, I'm even gonna rethink this defense attack. Well, it's not, I think I'm gonna leave that in case Levi needs it, and then I'll come back after Levi is done and see about it. So this is, again, the same thing the very basic part when the totem is active, I get damage buff 7.2%, um, lasting 15 rounds. And um, after the totem power is active at the beginning, at plus 10, it goes up to 9.6. So if I could continue upgrading this <laughs> past 5, then I, I would, but I am not there yet. I don't have that ability. I'll show you how to polish seals in a minute after I'm done with this. So uh, the next one I want to do is Jiao Chan. And I think that I want her to have some damage resist of some kind. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah, I think I'm going to do quick crit damage resist on her to help her avoid some damage. And she does not need acuity or attack. She does not need damage buff <laughs> or any of those things. Let's read that seal one more time because I feel like I'm missing something here. Crit damage resist decrease for, so maybe it's for the other team. At the beginning of the battle, decrease one enemy's crit damage. Okay, so it's not protecting her. So I'm glad I went back and reread that because it's really tricky <clears throat> to catch those things when um, when you're doing this. You have to really be careful about reading it correctly. All right, so what I might want instead 
Let's, let's read this one and see what it says. After totem was activated at the beginning of the battle, decrease one enemy's... Nope, that's probably the same one I just got rid of. Because <laughs> one's like that. Oh, shiny. EVA increase. Uh, attack decrease. Resist decrease. Defense increase. Crit damage resist decrease. Well... It seems like a lot of my totems are geared towards um, breaking down the other team, which I mean, not opposed to that at all. I was just hoping to find something that would be helpful for Jiao Chan specifically. I think I'm going to save this defense increase, uh, increase the carrier's defense by 7.2%. I think I'm going to save that for Jiao Bao Yu so he can be a little more beefy. And I'll do something else for Jiao Chen. Maybe EVA increase. After totem is activated at the beginning, increase the carrier's EVA by 7.5%. Okay, I think not having her locked up in, you know, in a dock's control is probably pretty good. And none of these stats are particularly fantastic for her, but probably the most helpful one is this glossy jadeite one that is plus 88 defense and crit damage resist percentage so i'm going to put that on her i'm just looking at stats and the ones that are going to help her the most she needs more hp there's an hp one um to do some defense Oh, more HP. I'm going to give, just give her the most HP I can. And try that out. Alright. Piggy. Tough piggy. So defense. We were talking about that. And I'm going to pick for him the most defense I can. Because he is defending for the whole team. If it was just his own defense, I wouldn't care quite as much. But it is the entire team. So... I'm going to give him this one. And then Hefty Seal is pretty good. Defense, defense. Yeah, I'll give him more defense. And then that unlocks the seal's power to defend, um, increase the carrier's defense by 7.2%. So that is very helpful because it covers all 15 rounds and it seems like it's undispellable. At least I hope it is. All right, so done, done. All right, so we just have two left. Good. Okay, crit damage resist decrease for I think that Levi does a lot of crit damage. So let's give him as much of that buff as we can. He also likes a little ACC acuity because he that's what he steals uh, other buffs from the other team from and it looks like we have an opportunity to give him more acuity and damage resist but we could also give typing that acuity if she, that seal calls for it so i'm going to go ahead and pick this one that has the HP, crit damage resist, and damage resist on it and give him a little bit of a buffer. All right. Eh. Okay. So the last one, it looks like, is Locke. So let's pick him a good one. All right, so typing does attack and she does acuity-based things. So anything that's gonna give us an Uh, an advantage that way would be helpful. So crit increase three, uh, resist decrease four, which I think is actually pretty good. She, she does take down um, other people's, and she attacks on everyone. So the beginning of the battle decrease one enemy's resist by 12%, lasting 15 rounds. So... 
if it's the right one, that could be really helpful for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and improve this and give her as much good stuff as I can. Looks like it's all attack, so I'll just give her the highest one I can find. Which is this one. And, okay. Oh good, I can give her that acuity one. Because docs need a lot of acuity to be able to control the other team. So giving them as much acuity as you can is really important. All right, so that is the setup that I'm going to experiment with. Hopefully this pays off. I am not sure resetting and doing redoing things is always a, an experiment. I wouldn't call it a gamble, like if you are somewhat informed, but it is an experiment and it's definitely trial and error. A lot of this stuff in this game is trial and error. So if you enjoy trying things out and figuring out what works and fine tuning, tuning things, this is definitely the game for you. If you just enjoy the costumes, then that's okay too. Like it's, it's a big enough game that you can pick what you enjoy and, and focus on that. If you don't love the team building, stuff that's okay too like no there's no reason for you to force yourself to do anything in this game that is unpleasant or unhappy for you just do the things you enjoy um like i don't love 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 the stats part so i ask advice from my wonderful friends malin cress and biffy to help me figure that stuff out so it's also an opportunity for you to reach out socially and make connections if you know you have things that are not your strong suit. I'm pretty good at operational things and figuring out some strategy and stuff, but I'm not the best at stats yet. I'm still learning a lot. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you understand totems just slightly better. Uh, oh, seals, I told you I was going to show you how to polish these puppies so you go to the seals tab and I mean in my storage I have tons of totems and tons of seals there's this is basically like polishing your weapons but you polish your seals or your totems so you can do the same thing to I guess this one can still be leveled up. So you can just say level up and it'll do it for you. So you just keep going. And now since the phase two has started, I we now have tons of these blue seals if you're doing your daily tasks in Desert Tales. You're going to get a ton of those to polish up your... Um, and of course, Fabled is going to take a ton more than the little blue ones. <laughs> you have to put 10 in to go up one level. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> this game is so fun sometimes. <laughs> All right. So, and what does that do? Like, I guess we should have looked before, but it does level it up. So I'm... I'm guessing that it increases the stats on that. So let's try another one. Go to seal and we'll go to level up. I'm gonna hit autofill. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to use all of them. I just want to go up one level. Okay, well now we know what autofill does. <laughs> Okay, here it is. It goes for EVA 4% and 3.7 to a, an unknown amount at the next level. See, Wen doesn't pay attention to this stuff. <laughs> Thanks for being here to watch this stuff so that I can pay attention. Okay, so EVA went up a little bit on this one and it didn't go up on that one. So it's a little random. So it, it is enhancing just the basic skills and, and stuff on your... Um, totem so and you level up and then you see what you get 
I got a little bit more HP, some defense, some, and the other ones did not change. So more HP is good because it is Zhuangzhou's pet. So yay. All right. So now you kind of know what that looks like. I think there's also a way to improve the totems by, here it is, enhance. So by using other totems to polish those. So you would want to use like your worst totems. <laughs> Let's see. Or ones that you know for sure you will never use. Damage decrease three. Well, these are not my worst ones. They must put the worst ones at the top then. Do Let's take a look. Okay, AGI decrease one. All right, so these are like level one totems. So you can enhance this and then it increases according to it, the green letters, the green numbers. So it's not a huge increase, but it does help. Like in every bit that helps is good. So once you know for sure that that's a totem that you want for your team and you're gonna be using it, that would be the time to start polishing it up and using enhance. I, I played around with it a bit and I ended up enhancing and upgrading totems that I didn't need to uh, just to figure out what in the world is happening. So, I mean, you could do that, but try to use the ones that you don't, don't really need to use, if that makes sense. So, you know, I'm probably never going to use crit damage increase one because I have like crit damage increase three and four. And the basic attributes are very low. So I probably would, would not choose that one because I have much better ones to use. But if that is your best one, you definitely want to keep it. Well, most people have common sense like that, so... Alright guys, this is all that I know about totems and seals. I hope that it was helpful. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this four-part series. Trust me, I'm hungry and I want a snack and a nap too. So, <laughs> so I hope you all get snacks and naps. Uh, questions, comments, corrections, you know where they go. Like, subscribe, help each other out, and have a great day.